I'm sick and have been for a few days now. I don't like it. No one likes feeling sick. That generally junk feeling through your body, making it feel just kind of crap when you want to go and do the fun things that you like to do in life, like climb, train, and just generally be active. When I'm sick, I try to remain positive, which is not always easy, and try to maintain the rhythm of my non-sick life while being sick. Part of that is continuing to train as much as possible, and I don't mean continuing to train hard, and this isn't like, oh, you gotta keep on training, otherwise all is lost, you're gonna lose everything. You 100% need to rest if you're sick and give your body the opportunity to recover. But there's also that connection with fun and exercise and awesome things in your life that make you feel happy, and that endorphin rush that you get when you do exercise, and I can't help but think that that should still be there even if you are sick. Sitting on the couch watching TV and playing PlayStation just doesn't leave me feeling particularly good. I'm midway through a session on the wall today and I'll let you know how I train while I am sick, but I'm aware that not everyone has access to a wall. So there's a few things that you can do if you don't have access to a climbing wall. My warm up stays the same anytime I do almost anything. Couple of push ups, couple of chin ups, couple of squats in a round and I just keep on going until I'm feeling good. Use some exercise rubber bands if you need to, to make the warm-ups feel like they're at a warm-up level. My main principle for training while I'm sick is decreasing everything by 50%. Half as much intensity, half as much quantity. Honestly, sometimes it's just 30%, and that may seem like not that much and a bit of a why bother, but I'm not trying to gain strength, I'm not even trying to maintain it. The climbing is more of a headspace shifter and Sometimes even just doing the warm up is enough. A usual boulder session for me is one and a half to two hours, and today's session will probably clock in at about 45 minutes, if that. Traversing around on the wall and gradually building up to around V6, V7, and I'll do a few at that level. If you only have access to a board that is just hard stuff, like a moon board perhaps, you can even just set the boulder and climb it, but with your feet on the ground and you try and take as much weight as you can, but just kind of like walking your feet around and just pretend like you're doing a climbing move. I do want to reiterate, do not force it. If you are sick, don't dig yourself a deeper hole. It is 100% not worth it. Get yourself on the mend. But what is 100% worth it is hitting the like button if you've found this useful so far. <laughs> Thanks. Now for those without a climbing wall at home, hopefully you've got like a fixed hangboard or even a portable hangboard. I've got some awesome Woody's ones linked in the description below. Uh, TRX straps and the gym rings are also really awesome to have on hand. Now if I'm just using my hangboard, TRX straps and that sort of thing, all I'm gonna be doing is a couple of repeaters on two different grip types. So chisel and a sloper for me usually. There's no particular order that you need to do it in. Sometimes I'll do like the chisels and then the slopers or sometimes they'll be mixed in there, but it's about three to four rounds of it. It's a very, very sub-maximal level for me. And it's just kind of connecting with that climbing again. With the TRX straps, I'll be doing some like one arm pull through kind of things or kind of in that like reverse plank position and pulling yourself up, eyes, wires, T's some prone flies, basically any kind of climby style exercises that just make me feel good again. One thing though I've found is that if I'm doing some of those prone exercises, it can be like a massive buildup of pressure in your head. So if you've got anything kind of heady going on, just watch those ones. I'm absolutely not trying to gain strength. I'm absolutely not trying to maintain anything. It's just a mood shifter. It's a, a change of scenery, getting out of the house, coming down here and just doing something a little bit different. I hope you've got something out of this and I'm hoping to feel better soon. I was planning on making a, this is my strength training program video today, but that's obviously not happened. But if you've got any questions for me about my strength training, chuck them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them as I can. But that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you all being here. See you next time.